My name is Malcolm and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at The Big Lab. Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. In this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question on the topic of matter. I will also include this question to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So, let's get started. Question 26. Ali carried out an experiment to find out if four substances, honey, air, salt, and cotton wool, can be compressed using the setup shown below. First, Ali filled the syringe completely with honey and pushed the plunger as hard as he could. Now, we all know that honey belongs to which state of matter? We know that honey is in the liquid state. Ah, and remember, liquids, can they be compressed? No, and why is that? Because liquids, they have a definite volume, which means that it cannot be compressed. Now, since the honey cannot be compressed, this means that no matter how hard Ali pushes the plunger, would the plunger be able to move? No, right? Which means the distance moved by the plunger must be 0 cm. So, in this question, they ask which set of data could Ali have recorded? Since we already said the distance moved by the plunger for honey must be 0 cm, which options can we eliminate? Straight away, we can eliminate options 2 and 3 because the distance moved by the plunger for honey is more than 0 cm. Therefore, options 2 and 3 are out. Okay, whereas options 1 and 4 are possible. Now, taking a look at option 1, now let's take a look at annex. Now, for air, what is the state of matter? We know that air is in the gaseous state. And remember, can gases be compressed? Yes, right? We know that gases, they do not have a definite volume, which means they can be compressed. Now, if gases can be compressed, this means that when Ali pushed the plunger as hard as he could, what would happen to the distance moved by the plunger? Would the plunger be able to move in? Yes, right? Which means the distance moved by the plunger, should it be zero or more than zero? In this case, the distance moved by the plunger should be more than zero. Okay, and we see that in the table as well. Therefore, option one is still possible. Now, let's move on to salt. Now, what is the state of matter for salt? We know that salt belongs to the solid state. And we know that solids, similar to liquids, they have a definite volume, which means that salt cannot be compressed. That means the distance moved by the plunger should be 0 cm. Is that true? No. We must recall that salt is a tiny solid. And between the tiny particles of salt, there are actually air spaces between them. Now, since we know that there are air spaces between the salt particles, and we all know air is in the gaseous state. This means that can the air spaces be compressed? Yes, it can. Which means the distance moved by the plunger, would it be zero or more than zero? The distance moved by the plunger should be more than zero, which is actually seen in the table. So, option one is still possible. Now, what about cotton wool? Similar to salt, there are also air spaces inside the cotton wool, which means, can the plunger be pushed in? Yes, right? Which means the distance moved by the plunger, should it be zero or more than zero? It should be more than zero. However, the table shows that the distance move is zero cm. Now, is that possible? No, so we can cross out option one. Now, let's look at the last option, which is option four. We see that option four has the same values for honey and air as option one. So, we know that these two are definitely correct. 
But what is the difference for salt and cotton wool? Now, we can see that the plunger was moved in more for cotton wool compared to salt. And why is that? Now, think about it for cotton wool. Do you think cotton contains larger or smaller air spaces than salt? Yes, we know that cotton wool contains larger air spaces compared to salt, which means there is going to be more air present in the cotton wool. So, comparing cotton wool and salt, which one do you think can be compressed more? Yes, it will be the cotton wool, or more specifically, it can be the air in the cotton wool that can be compressed more. Which means the distance moved by the plunger for cotton wool should it be larger or smaller compared to salt? It should be larger. And we see that in the table for option 4. Therefore, option 4 is the only possible answer. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!